Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker850X in today's video. We're gonna have a what if battle. Anyway, back to what I was gonna say. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a what if battle and the battle's actually gonna be between probably one of my favorite anime characters, um, Monkey D. Luffy versus should I do this? Should I? Should I? I'm going to do it anyway. Luffy versus Law. Tragafella D. Law. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to be thinking. There's no way Luffy can even touch Law. Law activate the room. Well, motherfuckers, Luffy is no idiot. Pause. Luffy's a fucking idiot. But when it comes to fighting, Luffy's very creative and intelligent. Um, How he plans to actually counteract Law's room... The only liable or logical way possible, I would see, honestly, would have to be speed. Now, we know Luffy possessed gear, gear second, third, and fourth. Gear second is just like absolute speed. He, he doesn't lose power, but he's just a whole lot faster. Um, gear third is all about power. He, he lacks mobility because he makes his limbs, he enlarges his limbs to do more damage, and then Gear fourth is the overall package. Now, do I think Luffy would necessarily need Gear Four to actually defeat Law? I don't. But we don't know what Law's durability is like. Now, granted, Law is not a hand-to-hand -hand combat character. He fights using his double fruit ability and a sword. And um, Law possesses a wide, a wide range of attacks from um, his basic room which allows him to manipulate whatever comes inside of it. Um, he has Sturbin, which is pretty much where he uses electricity on his sword to damage an opponent, uh, as, as we saw against Trouble. He has um, Counter Shock, which I, I, if I remember correctly, he used that like start someone's heart back. I think it was his own. Um, there's Radio, no, Gamma Knife. I, what, is, what, is, what is Radio Knife? There's Gamma Knife. Which is what he used to destroy Doflamingo's internal organs. Um, there's Tack, which is what he used. So far from what we've seen, he's used it to lift objects. Um, Shambles, which is what he used to switch places with objects or uh, move around body parts on the Marine soldiers when he was first introduced. And there's a few other moves that I can't remember off the top of my head because all of this is coming off the top of my head, just so you guys know. Um, and then we have Luffy. Now, Luffy is a hand-to-hand -hand combatant. And overall speaking, Luffy is nowhere near top tier when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Granted, we haven't seen too many characters that uh, specialize in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But we have seen Luffy be... Um... No, he hasn't actually been overpowered with sheer strength so far. Now that I think about it. You no, know, his grandpa... His grandfather, uh, Monkey D. Garp, he, uh, he, he overpowered Luffy with sheer strength, and he's another hand-to-hand -hand combatant. And that's probably the only person off the top of my head I could actually use as a comparison, because most of the people Luffy's ever fought has had double fruits, with the exception of a few characters in the beginning of the series. But they, they were all fodderized immediately, so I can't really use them as a fair comparison. Um, I guess you could say Arlong... But again, he was a fisherman, and I don't, I don't know. Fishermen are supposed to be naturally stronger than human beings, so I. But I guess you can consider him a hand-to-hand -hand combatant until he pulled out the sword, which, which instantly got fodderized by Luffy getting upset. So that's another thing. Um, there isn't too many hand-to-hand -hand combatants that I think about in One Piece. But overall, speaking, Luffy has yet to just completely overpower a character with sheer force or sheer power like physical power uh to be like 100 dominant doflamingo it took him two of his strongest attacks that we know of right now to finally put this man out for the count and by no means necessary is that a, a small achievement but it, it goes to pay testament to how durable doflamingo is as a character and what we have to look forward to when it comes to scaling powerful characters in the series. 
Now, my thing is, how could Law stop Luffy if he was just absolutely just had to take out Law? I know Luffy don't like to fight his friends, but if if it was do or die, Zoro's leaving the crew because Law accidentally killed somebody or Law killed somebody intentionally just to piss Luffy off. What what would what would Luffy do? Would he actually go all out against Law? Like for me, I feel like Luffy being Luffy, he's gonna take things slow at first. Um, but when you're fighting against a character such as Law, who has the ability to manip manipulate the space around him, I, I feel like that's really dangerous for L Luffy to do. And if Luffy messes, if Luffy even messes up once, this could be the deciding factor on whether or not he could lose his life or his entire Nakama. And I feel like Luffy just because he's friends with law he would be extremely hesitant but granted luffy knows how law's room work i would think from fighting with him and whatnot that he, he would know how to evade or stay out of the range of it but again luffy knows that he can be cut by swords fairly easy as we saw when he was um when he came into contact with mihawk during the marine fort arc he 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 actually thought out like I can't go this way because if I do, he's gonna cut me. I can't go this way because if I do, he's gonna cut me. So it's 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 common knowledge that Luffy is afraid of getting cut. And um, from what we've seen, when Law actually cuts somebody, it doesn't cause any physical harm to them. Their body is just chopped. Um, so here's what I think: it's the only logical way for Luffy to actually win this fight. Luffy would have to. Be at a distance, go into the battle ready and gear forth, hockeyed up, and have his observation hockey like ready, like to a T to try to evade any oncoming attacks from Law. But granted, once Luffy enters the room, he's he's more so at a disadvantage. So if he's gonna get that one attack off, he's gonna have to do it fast, especially considering Law can teleport inside of his room. So if Luffy can actually get into the room, hit law with a leo bazooka in time i feel like luffy could win the fight but it honestly will have to be a surprise attack like luffy beam something in there like boom he punches like a tree down and punches it forward at him kind of like what he did with the marines the uh the admirals send it flying towards him and then from there he finished he, he comes in behind all the barrages of uh like tree limbs and whatnot and just hit him with the leo bazooka i feel like that's the only way Luffy could actually even manage to land a hit on Law because otherwise it would be impossible. Granted, we did see characters like Doflamingo um, hurt Law a lot, but we got to think about it. Law was getting jumped by Doflamingo in trouble, and he still managed to stay alive until Luffy finished off Bellamy. And even then, he managed to land a critical, a, a critical blow that was effective enough to affect Doflamingo somewhat in the long run so with that being said guys hope you enjoyed the bait be sure to hit the like button comment tell me what you think and as always it was your boy joker 850x and we are out into the next one peace mama, mama, me, mama.